called? The famous this famous is the Grandpa Community Centre at Main Street. We do the youth, well, you did have a youth club until the council took that away. We do an over 50s club for the old age people, over 50. Um, also, we're, doing, we're trying to get the community up and running together again. But well, unfortunately, with the council cuts, making it very hard for everyone. I mean, my mum lost her job recently. I just graduated from a, um, with a degree in graphic design and media studies. I can't really um, seem to find the job because of the cuts and things like that. A few people from my family have been put out of work. They've been working uh, for the government. I'm just against the cutting of the carers. You know, the patients often need feeding. So who's going to do it now? With all these cuts, I think it's quite disgusting. They've made the cuts in areas where it only affects the working class. For example, for example, housing benefit, um, incapacity benefit. They're cutting the Arts Council, which affects me directly. Um, as far as any other cuts, I'm a bit oblivious really. I, I don't really notice it. It's one of those stealth things, right? You don't really notice until it's all gone. I'm um, a housing support officer for a housing association based in Tatham. They're downgrading staff from pay skills, from higher pay skills to lower getting rid of all the temp staff. I mean, I was thinking about going to university and uh, I had to change my mind about that, you know what I mean, so... Definitely. I mean, it's quite expensive. Our youth development and our youth working in the housing association is paying, paying out from its own pocket, not, not from the government funding. I've lived here for seven years. I'm from the United States. I've lived here and I've seen, I've made friends with a lot of the kids and the youth in the neighborhood and they haven't got anything to do. Well, what it is with the council, what they seem to be good at is giving us things, we get it up and running and then just whipping it from under our feet. Here in East London kind of a thing, I think that there is an absolutely critical need for the children, especially the youth, especially since they're cutting education, so what other chances do they have to be um, supervised activities, some sort of guidance, some sort of direction provided other than sitting around in the park smoking dope and thinking that they can either be a football star or a drug dealer with all the bling. Once you're on the streets here, yeah, you, life, man. Like, anything could happen. Like, it was like, you know, on the streets, when you chill there, like you're bored, then you're going to be doing the attempt to do something. And then, you know, when there's like little kids or something, the only way to have fun is like doing messing bad. about, doing vandalizing something. or something or uh, argue with the police like, to get a laugh out of it, but then it goes serious. Right? Since they closed the youth centre, the there's been pizza men being beat up, <laughs> pizza men have refused to come on the estate. A lot of old people feel intimidated to pass them as they come out as they come out on corners. Um, kids come out, they don't know what to do. They could get, they could be offered free alcohol. They will drink and they'll get, they'll get drunk. They're trying to entertain themselves, but they're re re in, in reality, they're basically the. Um, they're causing problems for the elderly in the bungalows, in the flats and in the houses. When I was younger, we had youth clubs. We had all youth clubs everywhere. But gradually, they're taking them all away. You can yeah, play snooker, we, um, table tennis and, um, and football. And they used to put, take us, up, they used to take us on trips. The members that we staff with, we worked with, they were very helpful in that. They, they knew that they, they came from our own background, they knew how we grew up, they knew how we're growing up, and they know like, how our lifestyle was, how, how our lifestyle is. The council, even though they don't like fund us, they do like the building work and the maintenance on it and everything. It's like, no, they, they, they used to pay the electricity bill, they're not paying that no more now. They used to pay the gas bill, they're not paying it no more now. I think he's all he's done it too quick, too fast. It, it don't make sense to, to 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 make those depot cuts when I mean, the job market is not really ready for that. The people that work in the council in Tower Hamlets, they um, support the cuts because they want to keep their job. 
Well, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, we're making serious cuts to our own schools and our own hospitals, and at the exact same time, we send sending off our troops to somewhere like Libya, in, involving ourselves in other countries' politics. When, when free we, wars. When we don't need to be, we're spending our money bombing our other people's hospitals and schools while trying to cut and save our own hospitals and schools. It just doesn't make sense to me. Would you like those responsible for the economic problems in the first place? I mean, uh, well, the banks, isn't it? <laughs> It's the banks for we have to bail them out. So I mean, uh, the city bankers, they've um, how they use their money, they misused it. Bankers, 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 bankers. I say bankers, you say bankers, 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 bankers. Uh, I work in recruitment. I work for uh, for financial services. So how do you think the cuts? Honestly, the cuts have not affected financial services at all. The rich! The rich! We gotta get rid of the rich! The rich! The rich! We gotta get rid of the rich! Do you think it's fair that like services like NHS, uh, youth centres, libraries, do you think it's fair that they're sort of receiving the brunt of the... It's not fair at all. Um, obviously, libraries, the NHS is actually is the spine, I suppose, of, obviously of our country. and. And we depend on these services, obviously, to, to help us, obviously, in life. Since the economic crisis, the financial services are actually doing quite well in terms of the... Extremely well. There's no problem with the financial services. So there's still a lot of money floating around? And... There's a lot of money floating around in financial services, for sure. And, and would you say that figure has actually increased since the economic crisis, or has it actually gone down? I'd say it's increased. I'd say it's increased. Um, and all the banks are fighting for the same type of people, which is pushing up the, which is pushing up the, the contract rates and, and the permanent salaries, including the bonuses as well. But obviously, their lending got out of control, and they got into trouble, and basically, the government had to bail them out. So it's like taxpayers' money going bailing them out. You know what I mean? So and they they, they could impose a lot a lot heavier tax on them than they're currently doing, which is only fair, I think, because they they bought us in this crisis in the first place. Greed at the top, isn't it? Greed. The 253 HSBC staff were paid more than a million pounds oh, last year. Shame! 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 What are they giving up? I bet their kids go to youth clubs. I bet they've got the. I bet their kids don't live in cancer estates. You know, like living from day to day. Where you are standing now amidst these giant glass-plated towers full of multi-millionaires is the borough with the highest rate of severe child poverty in the country. It's the borough with the highest rate of youth unemployment in London. It's the borough which is the third most deprived in the country. It is the most unequal place in Britain and we are here today to say that that is wrong. I'm a fine one to talk, I haven't done anything yet, but I'd imagine if there was a, if there was a wave of public opinion everyone suddenly got together, especially in this borough, it, it would it'd make a big difference, I think. A lot of people would be up for it. Protest. What does that involve doing? Make your post out, Jamie-Anne. We want to <laughs> Yeah, I'm really off for that. I'm going to Egypt in the summer, so maybe we could learn from them. And we can't just sit down and accept what the government are doing to us and affecting us. We need to stand up. We need to make our voices be heard. There's, there's, a, there's a time and place where you actually you, have, you need to stop talking and take action. I think everyone should get involved, really. I mean, we're the ones that suffer. It's the, it's the middle and the upper classes that don't suffer, really. We're the ones that get in the net. So you don't buy that thing about we're all in this No, together. we're not all in it together. It's one world rule for the rich and another for the poor. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer.